What are the fastest growing niche streaming genres today or in real life or just chatting streams? And mobile devices like this one are quickly becoming very popular for those types of streams, especially when it comes to live vlogging and events such as TwitchCon or PAX. So it should be no surprise that developers are out there making applications that are going to allow content creators to produce professional looking live streams that you can interact with your viewers while doing such things like these events. And today's video is going to cover one of those applications, Prism Live Studio. Prism Live Studio is the sponsor of this video. And today I'm going to give you a brief overview of the app and I'm going to show you how you can use it to live stream your content to your favorite platform. So let's get into the video. Prism Live Studio is available currently on Apple iOS and Android devices. You can use this in three different modes. You can use not only the live stream, but you can do video and photo modes, including editing of those different contents. You can multi-stream to different platforms, among those being Twitch and YouTube, Periscope and Facebook Live RTMP. All you need to do is connect your accounts. So in my studio, you can share your photos, your videos, you can add background music, you can do quick edits and send them to your friends. In screencasting, you can share your mobile screen and you can broadcast it. Prism Studio Live also comes with a host of camera effects, including mask, backgrounds, touch, and moods, and video editing, such as using adding different filters, you can do drafts and you can resume editing at any time. Uh, you can add all kinds of video filtering effects, such as movie like filters, drawing stickers, and copyright free background music. All right, so first of all, let's talk about Prism Live Studio and how to use it here. So it's very easy to get into. Uh, once you download the program, you're going to want to log in to your account and there's a ton of different accounts. You can log in with Facebook, you can log in with your Google account, which would be for your YouTube, or you can log in using an email address. Once you get in, you're going to be brought into this UI here. Now this UI is very easy to operate. Uh, you have settings here. If you were to open the top left here, you can go into settings by clicking the little gear icon, and you can see all kinds of different settings here, including stream destinations, which you can see you can connect to your YouTube, you can connect to your Twitch, Periscope, or any of these others that you have available. Now there is additional settings once you get into the actual live stream where you set up your live stream or you can do different things there, including doing custom RTMP, Facebook RTMP, that sort of thing. So here you can do uh, stream download quality and I have saved and fixed quality. I, if you do save an adjustable quality, um, it's going to adjust quality based on your bit rate. Uh, if you do a fixed quality, then you might see some stuttering in your video um, if your processor or if your bit rate can't handle it. You have another option here where you can change your video resolution. Um, I currently have mine set to 1080p. Here, by, by uh, default, concealed watermark is turned, is turned off, which means that you would have the Prism Live Studio watermark installed. You can hit conceal watermark it doesn't cost you it doesn't affect video quality or anything like that you can allow this to display over other apps which i have that enabled and then you have of course some help contact us uh software license app versions that sort of thing at the bottom all right so now this is the main ui this is what you're presented to start your live stream of course down at the bottom right here you have live you have video and you have photo where you can take videos, you can take photos, that sort of thing, and edit as necessary. But for this video, we're gonna concentrate mainly in the live area. All right, so at the bottom left here, you have a little wand. This is where you can add things like overlays. They have a you know, ton of different overlays you can select. They have different kind of GIFs if you wanted to add, or GIFs if you wanted to add GIFs. A favorites tab where you can go and add, or have, you know, It'll display your favorites that you've used uh, recently. You can add different little face filters. There you go. So now I'm the gingerbread man, which is pretty cool. Uh, or I can be Santa Claus. Yeah. Suiting for the time of the year. So follow the instructions and it gives you the little filters. There's just all kinds of little things you can add here. 
uh, to customize it, customize your stream, and including little uh, greets like hi, say if somebody is uh, live or somebody's live streaming and chats to you, you can say hi to them by adding that. You can say welcome back. There's all kinds of stuff, and this is one of the cooler areas where you can kind of give some little uh, alerts to people as you're live streaming, which is really neat. One of the cool things too about this is you can write on your screen as you're going uh, live and you're streaming here. So you can do a little marker and you can do some pretty crazy things with it, but you have the ability to change the thickness of your pen. You can also change the color to whatever you prefer. And then from there, it's just simply taking your using your finger or a uh, pen, whatever, and using the draw function. And you can do some pretty funny things with this. And it works pretty well, um, you know. And you can clear it, of course, by hitting the lower left. And it clears everything out. And, you know, you can write hi. You know, there's all kinds of things that you can do with this, which is really nice. All right, so now we can go ahead and set up to go live on our live stream. So it's easy to do. Simply make sure you have the little yellow dot above your live and then hit the ready button, okay? And then you have some options here we have available. Uh, you can select what can out, uh, account you wanna get connected to. So here I have my Facebook and my Twitch, so I'm gonna choose my Twitch account. And here you can change the title. I have PLS testing for Prism Live Studio. Um, you can just change that if you want. I will leave it there. And then we can go in and set your stream settings. Now remember back here real quick, I just want to go to this. If you wanted to do multi-streaming, okay, you can do it to multiple accounts at one time and it doesn't cost you any additional um, dollars to do that. So I'm willing to turn that off though because I just want to stream to Twitch. And then we'll go into stream settings. Now adaptive bitrate, adaptive bitrate is where it will change your bitrate based on your bandwidth that you have available. So if you have a degrade, if your internet degrades, it'll lower the band of the bit rate. But what's going to happen is it's going to lower the quality of your video. If you turn this off, which you can do, you can choose to go into off or adaptive bit rate. It will then highlight your bit rate and your keyframe, which you can then set. And here you have thousand, uh, inter thousand kilobit per second intervals. Okay. And you can also change keyframe uh, between one, two, and three. And just for reference, Twitch prefers two. But if you turn adaptive bitrate on, those are of course grayed out and you can't change them. All right, so we'll hit the okay. We'll leave adaptive bitrate on. I like that function. I use it in OBS Studio, for instance. So here we have 720p. That's what we're going to send out and we should be able to go live. So when you go live, you will get a little countdown. And it's nice. It shows you three, two, one, and then you're live. Some of the things that you have available while you are live is you have the ability to bring up your camera. You can flip your camera. So this is the default mode of your camera. Uh, if you wanted your, your, like your t-shirt to read properly, then of course you would flip the camera there. Um, you can save your video after streaming uh, if you want to do that. And of course you can turn your mic on, your camera off, all that stuff. You have your view count or your viewer count here at the top, which right now it shows zero, and you have your time online. Then of course you have your options to select all of your filters, and you know they are there available for you. You have favorites, you have your face mask, uh, you have all of your different, you know, little gifs and, and overlays. Like I'm gonna add this overlay here. There we go, Chris Mini, yay. Uh, it's all there um, and you can use it as you need. Again, of course, like I said with the writing, you know, you can write something on top of your thing there. If you wanted to do that, put a little smiley face. There we go. So everything is available for you to while you're live. And one of the things I like is really cool here. Let me uh, back out of this is your chat is available too. So I have my chat here, I can say hi, and I'll send it. And it'll show up right here on the screen right here, along with other people's. 
Uh, now, here's a key with the chat. Chat will not work for RTMP streams, only for streams where you connect your account to the stream. But it's there, it's pretty easy, simple to set up, and when you are ready to end your stream, you just hit the end button. And voila, we're done. So your broadcast is ended, and you can of course view uh, your stream again. You can save it if you want to. And we will, uh, sure, we'll save it. And there we go, so we're saved to gallery, and that's it, pretty simple. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for Prison Live Studio. There is a PC version of this also. I will be doing a tutorial on this here in the coming weeks. But for this video, I just wanted to focus on the mobile side. And I do appreciate the developers giving me the opportunity to be able to do this and them sponsoring this video. So thank you, Prison Live. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more of these Prison Live tutorials that go live. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, listen, have a great new year. I think mobile streaming is going to really boom in 2020. All these new, all these events, all these cons that are coming up in 2020. I think a lot of people will be out there, especially with iPhone 11 coming out and uh, we'll see a new line of phones. Of course, Samsung, I'm sure is going to uh, answer the call and bring out a, a version that has a ton of great camera options. And I think the Prism Live Studio will be there to highlight those. So anyway, looking forward to seeing what happens. If you have any questions or anything, please comment. Let me know. I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. And that's really it, guys. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the support. And if you go download it, make sure you visit prismlive.com and tell them TFS sent you. I appreciate it. Y'all be good. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.